I'm going to be looking at wind energy and did you see? For millennia, people have harnessed the power of the wind. As early as 3200 BC, sailing boats travelled got up in wind in their sails. In ancient times, the Chinese used wind power to pump water to their crops. Later, during the medieval period, people used the power of wind to grind grain using windmills. Nowadays, we harness the power of the wind to create electricity. 20% of Denmark's electricity comes from wind power. In England, however, wind supplies only 2.5% of all England's electricity. How does it work? Wind pushes on the propeller. A rotor inside drives a motor that creates electricity. This is transmitted through cables through the tower and under the ground to a substation. A special transformer creates enough le electricity to supply an entire community. Where is it used? Most commonly they are on hills because wind is more reliable, like this wind farm in Portugal. For years, the wind turbine manufacturer, Gameshire, has recommended the city of Dundee as a possible location for a wind farm. Most recently, the world's largest offshore wind farm opened in Fanet off the coast of Kent. Wind power is a useful source of energy. I hope that under David Cameron's leadership, we can increase England's wind energy programme. That was good, but let's do it again.